When I first visited the Radha Krishna temple, a poster on the wall caught my attention. It shows Krishna sitting next to a blind old man. Krishna smiles in admiration as he listens to the song of this simple old man who seems to perceive Krishna through his heart. When his last days on earth had come, with his very last breaths, he composed a beautiful song which gives us a glimpse into who Krishna is. My Krishna is extremely grave. His thoughts are always occupied with how to free all of us from the suffering of material life. He is sitting like a blue sapphire in our heart, and therefore he is aware of our every small thought. Even if his devotee has a tiny fraction of a good quality, he magnifies that quality, and to him it is as big as a mountain. On the other hand, any offenses we make, even if as great as the ocean, he sees them as a tiny drop of water. Always remember Krishna in this way. He is continuously smiling and stays right by our side. No matter in which direction we turn, Krishna is always next to us. Even if the devotee should turn his face completely away from Krishna, Krishna does not forget us for even a moment. When realizing his mistake, the devotee turns back to the Lord and he finds Krishna smiling, just as before. As soon as Krishna finds the devotee separated from him, the Lord is anxious, as if consumed by the desire to reach out to him. Krishna constantly follows the devotee, moving to and fro to attract his attention. If, at my last moment, I should show my back to Krishna, who has such a compassionate nature, then no one is as unfortunate as me. Krishna's wish is that we always think of him. He is completely, overwhelmingly invested in each of us. With all his heart, he deeply wishes us to connect with him and to re-establish our relationship with him. As Srila Prabhupada once said, we have forgotten our relationship, so we have to connect again. Thank you.